Hey, in this video you are going to see how to make an object follow a path and also maintain the right orientation during its movement. That being said, we are going to apply the technique to this boxing path. So as you can see here, I have a box and a line made up of a 5 points curve. We can't talk about animation without time, so I'll set the time parameter to the animate function and of course use it in this formula. Time divided by 2000 here represents the speed of the animation, 6 is the number of path points plus 1, this is a rule of thumb. Now, the position variable is going to contain the position of an object on the path at a certain time t, and we'll use it to keep her position in the box. So, as you can see, the box is now following the path precisely, but I have a couple of things I want to add before moving to the orientation. The first is close the curve. To do that, I'll simply add a second argument to the catnor round curve constructor. Now, you may not be using the animate function the way I'm doing here. I mean, you are probably calling request animation frame. The thing is, you can't access the time with this approach. In that case, just create a time variable and assign it the value returned by date.now. For the orientation, we'll need to get the normalized vector, the orientation more precisely of the tangent at a certain t. Then we'll orient the box towards the position vector plus the tangent normal. And there we go. By the way, this method doesn't work only with boxes, it actually works with the camera which can make wonders if used with the mouse scroll, and it can also be used to make spaceships follow paths to other galaxies and planets. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.